Well, we'll find out what things are looking like and how the landscape looks after Wednesday's game. Well, I don't want to know if... Well, just to finish that, Kate, okay, just to finish that... On. I, I, my apology. Just to finish that, I mean, you know, such a critical part of the midfield. And look, Thomas Partey's been good, but you know him well, and I know him well for La Liga. He's not a true leader. And also, he wants to go forward. He's not a true six, right? Xhaka, in terms of leadership, maybe, but I mean, maybe it was proven that he's better when he doesn't have that responsibility of a captain, right? Remember Shaka just a few years ago. I mean, he struggled with that re responsibility. He wasn't there yesterday. That was a big loss because Vieira couldn't do it, right? Uh, Odegaard is not that. So, so you know, I wanted to mention Thomas Partey because, you know, he's had a good season. Even yesterday, he wasn't bad. He wasn't the worst of them all, but he's not the... He's not the profile uh, of a player. And 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 to finish that, look at Manchester City, look at Rodri, but look at also Stones in terms of transition, in terms of a team that's very much like Arsenal, that wants to attack time and time again. And you have two sixes and two tens, really, uh, uh, who really clog that midfield. And it's very, very hard uh, to get through uh, Manchester City. So... Um, that's just a preview of Wednesday. And and that, that's going to be the battle. That's going to be the one that I'm going to watch. And that that's going to be the one that I, I'm afraid is going to confirm my thesis. If not, fair play to Arsenal. Okay, so you've obviously said what you think. You think that City are going to go on and win this. But rather than me pushing you on that, I want to ask you if you think those Arsenal players actually believe they can go and win it on Wednesday. Not as much now. Uh, no questions about that. I mean, they, they would understand the, the points they've dropped. I mean, think about it. I mean, the only thing that, you know, I suppose that, you know, they have is, is that, you know, I mean, this could have been a loss and we're not even talking about anything here. It doesn't really matter what happens Wednesday. Is, you know, I mean, really, I mean, it wouldn't have, right? Because they would have lost two, uh, two additional points. So that comeback gives you something, gives you that fight, gives you that little bit of a character that I think Mikel Arteta is going to talk about. And I think if you're a player, you say, yeah, uh, it's going to be so difficult, but but look at us. Look at us towards the end, right? I mean, 90th minute equalizer, there was eight or nine minutes. Remember, right at the end there, there was a you know, possibility, a chance, a couple of shots blocked. So I suppose Arsenal, in terms of going forward and in, for, in terms of attack, will think to themselves, look, we've got absolutely zero to lose. It's not, we understand that Manchester City are not going to let that slip away, but let's go, let's go to Manchester and let's win that games. With, you know, the funny thing is, with pressure off. I mean, the pressure, in a sense, is off of Arsenal. So if they go there and win it, and, and again, one of few teams that are capable of doing that. Because remember, Manchester City, one of the ways of beating Manchester City is to attack them relentlessly. So, I mean, it's not possible, but uh, highly unlikely in my book. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.